catching a lot of work. I got to work Friday or Thursday, Friday this week too. That's good. Isn't the season over? Huh? Isn't the season over? Yeah, but we have private parties. This is the uh, third, third week in a row. That's fine. I'm more than fine with it. Just, you know, banks some of my unemployment days further into the, you know, year. <coughs> Say, especially with the new program, the way it's set up, you can work and still collect uh, a lot. You know, like I've only lost one quarter of my unemployment working under 16 hours. So I still get a three quarter unemployment check and a paycheck, which is more than the one day I lose. So, you know, I'm ahead. And I still got that day to collect. I have a year to collect all my days. So. Did they just remodel this entire thing? Oh, I think they just cleaned it, maybe painted it. Ah, uh, yeah. So, well, I, yeah, that's what I was thinking, because it didn't look like that when I was working there. Yeah, but uh, these side jobs are cutting into all your relaxation time. Yeah, well. That you could be collecting unemployment with. Yeah, but like I said, it's fine. You know, we, can, you know, we enjoy the extra money. and Yeah, that's true. Keeps It gets me out of the house for a little while. You know, busy. And, I can't stand that woman. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> Especially with the weather turning crap, there's only so much I can do. You know, you just, the yard of work is done pretty much, and you know, outside work is pretty much done. And there's not a lot of inside work to do except get that basement straightened out, which is you know probably half done. What else is there to do? <coughs> you know, play games, talk. Because she, eat. no, I mean, because she already went on a tear when we got that truck and we kept going to the Ganson. Oh, she did. Like, so what's there left to do? <coughs> Oh, in the basement? Yeah. A lot of it, Pete, is just odds and ends we got to sort out and decide what we want to keep or, mm. you know, put together for another yard sale or whatever, give away, and, and consolidate shit and get it stacked up because, you know, we got to still, we got to repaint the floor and, you know, just get it, but just, you know, we've got two, two big tables. To, I mean, we got so much stuff. Just shit just needs, some of it just needs to go. I missed the pool table, but I never used it either. Yeah. You still got to use that pump in the basement? The sump pump? Yeah. Oh, you always have to have that pump. Yeah. Well, you just pay so much money to get that plumbing fixed over here that I figured it would be a, a non-issue anymore. Right? You pay so much money every year to get the pipes fixed or oh, whatever yeah, it's it is. Oh, yeah, bucks every year. I mean, that just stops it from backing up. But, you know, the, if, we, if that sump pump stops working, at some point the water level will overflow because we're, you know, below that basement is below like the watershed. And then if it rains and all that crap, it's like, so we got to make sure we have that running. I just put a new one in last year. It's the old one shipped the bed. But that's something I can do. I mean, it's not, it's not hard to do. Don't stop. Thinking about tomorrow. Most evil thing Madre ever did in her entire life was get rid of that swimming pool. Evil? Evil. <laughs> Beyond evil. Whatever's worse than evil, that's what it is. Could have gone swimming during Bill's games. <laughs> Crack open a cold one and just chill in the pool. I had to pick up my friend Kelly from the mechanic. Her heater ain't working. Uh, at least she's still sane enough to be coherent. Yeah, she's doing well. Well, she's on her meds. You know, as long as she stays on her meds, she's fine. 
you know, but when she fucks up her medication, she's a mess. Yeah. It's because they take the medication for so long that they don't think they need it anymore. Yes. You know. And then they go into a tailspin. Yeah. And, you know, part of it, too, is some of that medications do, you know, they do cause you some anxiety or whatever. But, yeah, yeah I get it. I mean, there's so many people. Yeah. You know, if, they're on their meds, they're fine. They go off their meds, they're a wreck. If it weren't for coffee, then... I would, I, if it weren't for coffee, I'd probably be in a mobile zombie. <laughs> so I get it. Yeah. But I also understand now. You know, anyone that's never had to deal with anxiety, depression issues, and things like that, they don't get how serious it is, and they don't understand that. You know, that medication is. It's just a priority. You got to just make sure you take it, and and not do things you shouldn't be doing when you're on that medication. You know, one like of drinking, is drinking in yeah. excess, right? I mean, it's really drinking at all. That's how Tim almost got killed. That's why he won't get his. That's why he won't take medication to make himself happier because he he did three man a drinking game while he was on medication and almost got killed. Oh well, yeah, so. What I'm saying is, Pete, if you want to have a glass of wine or a bottle of beer here and there, it's not going to hurt you. But if you want to binge on yeah. that medication, you're right. It could kill you. It's right. Yeah, because you don't know who you are anymore. Uh, no, I never screwed around with that stuff. I quit drinking so I could go on the pills. And, like, you know, me with the way I abuse that ibuprofen, I can't take it anymore. So you can't. I smoke. You can't recover from that. No, oh, that's permanent damage to my kidneys. Your liver will recover. Your liver will rebuild itself. It's like a continuing, active, growing organ. But your kidney is what you got. And you know when you lose your. But my my problem is minor. It's at the very lowest level of kidney disease, if you want to call it such. But I can't, you know, I got to make sure it doesn't go any further. Because, you know, you need your kidneys. What were you doing? Knocking back 10 or 12 of them a day? You no, know, 10 or 12 was like a low day. That was a good day. Yeah, I can see why that might be a 800 problem. milligram. That's when you're going to the street begging for people for 800 milligram pills. No, I had a, I was getting my scripts, buying them off over the counter. But still, I was popping those things like fucking Skittles. I would take three at a time, 2,400 at a time, just, and I mean when I say just, just to be able to function, not even, you know, go out and run a marathon or anything. That was when I was working, I was in charge of that party area in the back of the, you know, back outside the 10th pavilion area, and I don't know how many times my boss would come back just to check on how we were, and he'd see me sitting at my desk in that little shed office asked me if I'm okay. I said, yeah, I'm fine, Sean. I just I just had to take some medication. I got to wait till it kicks in. And I got to sit here 15, 20 minutes. He goes, okay, you're good, though? I said, yeah, I will be. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll be doing it until I got to take more. And they understood. I'm fine, Sean. And then once I got my knees replaced, you know, I, it was, I, I really didn't take, I haven't, take it many at all, except if I just like, work around the house or something and just abuse myself and get sore, but it's not really pain, pain, but you know. Even, weed is even safer than ibuprofen, the regular 200 milligram ones. What's that? They said, I think weed's even safer than the 200 milligram ibuprofen. Oh, yeah. I had a... I had a cyst in my jaw during my freshman year of college, and I had to wait a month to get seen by a, nurse, or a dentist. So I was taking 30 of them every 10 hours. I'm surprised it didn't kill me. But the pain would have if the pills didn't. Yeah. Quite a kick in the balls for Tim and Drew, huh? I try not to think about it because I'm afraid Tim's going to kill himself because he can't find another job, but I'm still there for him. Drew, I don't like because he's an asshole, but Tim, I'm worried about. 
I hope he can get another. I hope his. I was hoping his dad and Nicole could kind of help grease some wheels. Well, they're just not hiring a Chevy right now. Period. Because I don't know what to tell him. It's not like I can help him. There's no, nothing, I nothing I can do about it, but be there. I mean, you know, we're limited too. I mean, we can help him a little, but you know, we're we're not. You know, our situation is that. You know, in four years, you know, we lose our comp money. So that's, you know, a lot of money a month we're not going to have. So we're, you know, we're doing what we have to do to be okay when that happens. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Paying off bills and reducing our debt and everything. But we'll still, you know, we're not going to let Tim or Drew, you know, be without with necessities. Crazy, crazy. Hopefully he gets a severance package so massive that he doesn't have to work for a year. It won't be massive. It'll be substantial, but it won't be massive. But the thing what he needs to do is, he, now he applied to five places yesterday. You know, he needs to take whatever he gets first. I mean, I can't tell him that, you know, because move right now there. in his mind, you know, you know how Tim is when he gets in that way. He, there's no talking to him. Yeah, but he's not living at home anymore either. So he needs to grab, you know, the first job he can and keep looking. I mean, you know, even if he changes jobs like four times, it doesn't matter. He's, you know, he's not worried about longevity right now. Just getting the best opportunity to advance and make some decent money. But, uh, and then with that severance money, and I guess they owe him 60 days pay. When that money comes in, then he could supplement what he's making not make it his, you know, $37 an hour, he could use that to supplement so he can stay solvent. I mean, that's, I mean, we were talking, he was over yesterday for a little while. And I mean, I think he's getting, you know, he's getting into that mindset. So he did apply. He is applying to everywhere. So I think he realizes that, that he's got to get something just to supplement his income. Well, yes, or he'll be homeless. Well, we would never let him be homeless, but that's the last thing we want to have him move back in. You know, just like you, we would never let you be homeless either. You know that. Being I pinch my pennies so hard just to make that not well, happen. Sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. you always know in the back of your head we would never you know, let you live on the street, ever. What if I want to live in a cardboard box? Yeah, and then we would make sure we got you new ones every year. <laughs> Build me a cardboard box in the backyard. I'll talk to people I know at Orville's, and every time they deliver a refrigerator or something, we'll get you a new home. I'd be happy with a modernized shed like they have at Home Depot. Yeah. But you can't do that because people got to dig holes. Ooh, a lot of truckers. <laughs> yeah, they got to, with the new systems now, they can't fudge their fucking logbook. So when they hit their time, they got to park, take their breaks or, you know, whatever. I mean, they can't, they're not paper anymore. It's all on computer. driving truck his whole life and back in the old days <coughs> they carry you carry two log books one that was legit and one that you handed to the cops if you got in trouble <laughs> it's the fudged hours I ain't seen nothing There's nowhere to hide Dennis's body now. 
all the leaves are gone. And even them, I mean, fuck. Nicole's been out on this FMLA and hasn't gotten paid for it yet. You know, hopefully it's supposed to come yesterday. I didn't talk to her. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound legal she's either. Out, she She's out on medical leave because she had to stay home and take care of Alex who had surgery. What did he get surgery for? His ankle. He had to have his ankle reconstructed. From what, he, he from what though? Well, for between hockey and fuck, he hurt it and he never took care of it. So it, it was bad. He had to have, you know, his whatever. Plates? Ligaments, tendons. No, just they had to repair his muscles yeah, and shit. Just wear and tear. So he, uh, but he, he couldn't do anything. He, you know, he, he really wasn't supposed to do anything at all. Like just for the first two weeks, just pretty much bed, bed rest, let it heal. So she had to stay home, take care of him. She got, I forget how many weeks she got, and she gets paid for that. Did that cost him his job? No. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think he's going back this week. I'm trying a couple of shifts, short shifts, because he's got a boot now. Let's see how he can, you know, how he, how he can handle it. He's young. He's healthy. He's in pretty good shape. I mean, he'll recover. I mean, it's, you know, he just... He started out not, you know, the first day after his or whatever, two days after surgery, he went to because he, you know, didn't want to miss Brady's his last football. He shouldn't have done that, but he did. Well, you know, apparently he, it didn't do anything. He was okay, but you know that could have caused him some issues, but it didn't. So he's fine now. I mean, he's recovering. You know, it's it's, it's on on schedule to be the way it's supposed to be. So that's a good thing. Yeah, as long as he walks normally again, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'll be fine. Did he not have the talent to play in the NHL, or did he not have the work ethic? Uh, little of both. Little of both. I mean, he was good, and had he keep progressing, and he was getting better every year, he probably could have played for a Division three school, maybe. But I would be hard pressed to believe he could make it even a division two scholarship and he definitely wasn't division one caliber oh well at least he at least he tried a lot of people can't even say that yeah i mean it was heartbreaking for him because you know he had his mindset he was and you know what you don't want to have any other kind of a mindset if you're doing that, that you're